Well, the president uh, is uh, proposing uh, some sort of equity and trade relationship and the trade surplus that uh, China enjoys with the United States, talking about fair trade. Um, with that in mind, he's imposing uh, certain tariffs on certain Chinese goods that come to the United States. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's certainly driving China to uh, look at some other things based on what we export to China. So it's a quid pro quo uh, kind of situation that's coming at us. But the agricultural economy overall is, uh, is pretty depressed. Um, we, uh, we, are, we have a cold, if you will, at this point. Uh, we are headed for the flu if we see, some, uh, we see some of these trade barriers coming at us and some of these tariffs coming at us because we have to export. We can't eat anymore here in the United States. Agriculture survives based on exports and if we lose that opportunity, it's going to be a deep problem for agriculture and rural communities because we won't be buying pickups or eating at the local diner. We're very nervous. We're concerned that uh, China could retaliate and soybean is a great big target. If we'd sit down and uh, have some really good talks and dialogue and try and solve this situation without everybody threatening one another, um, just, just kind of uh, have some diplomacy. And I just continue to see it escalate. I hate to use the term trade war, but it sure seems that we're headed that way. What I would like to see is uh, folks sit down and talk about some of the issues uh, related to some of those trade disputes, some of the concerns that the United States has with, has with Chinese uh, exports to us, and some of the concerns China might have with uh, what we sell them or send to them.